How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a 2016 Donald Trump presidential campaign staffer by the name of Alva Johnson, who is suing the president for sexual harassment. She said that he forcibly grabbed her by the shoulders and kissed her on the mouth. Unfortunately for Miss Johnson, we have video of this particular incident. And what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and roll it. In this clip, you'll see the so-called shoulder grab and the so-called kiss. After we see that, I'll talk about what was in the video. I'll talk about what this means going forward for other people. I'll talk about Donald Trump in general. And then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. And I've loved my family for eight months for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, so you saw that. You saw the same thing I saw. Now, was that a forcible kiss on the mouth? I mean, come on. That's what Trump always does. The air kiss on the side of the cheek. That's some Hollywood type stuff. He didn't kiss her at all. You see the still frame on the screen before you. You don't see any kind of lip contact come in contact with her. OK, he did grab her by her shoulders, but that was only after she said, I've left my family for eight months for you. So he heard that is like, OK. Thank you. You're being very dedicated. I'm going I'm to embrace you, you know, basically give you a hug, air kiss, that type of thing. It was not any kind of sexual harassment there. And she also leaned in with it, pucker her lips, and then continued to talk to him afterwards. Talking about, thank you, we're going to get you in the White House, all this, that, and the third. Now, apparently her legal team is saying that, oh, that's not the full thing. There's more video. You're cherry picking this, that, and the third. You're stripping down the video. But this was released by one of Donald Trump's attorneys. So if the attorney put it out, I think that he knows what he's doing. He would know that you can't just, you know, uh, selectively take and not put out everything because it'll come out eventually regardless so yeah she has no real case here and it's really unfortunate that she would do this thing i don't even understand why maybe she got into some financial troubles you know came into a rough patch in her life i don't get it because she's a trump staffer like she said she had been on the road for like eight months left her family all of that and try to get trump in office you have on the trump hat trump shirt trump everything you're around a bunch of trump supporters you're in there and you are celebrating whatever kind of victory he had at that particular point in time. I don't think this was a uh, past election time. This might have just been during the campaign trying to get him to the White House. So I don't even really understand. Like I said, it probably was some financial thing that was going on. And she's in some dire straits. Now, this ain't the first time you've seen things like this happen, which is why Mike Pence says, hey, I'm not meeting with any woman at all unless my wife is there. Because I don't want anybody to come out later after we didn't had a nice, productive conversation. Everything was on the up and up. You claim to be my biggest fan. You claim to love me, all this and that. And then you want to say, oh, well, he touched me inappropriately. He kissed me inappropriately. He was saying inappropriate things. Nah, that ain't going to happen. If I'm going to meet with you, I'm going to have my wife right there. So like, I got a witness right here. Everything's on the up and up. And matter of fact, I will record all of the conversations, all of the meetings on video, which is the same thing that Donald Trump had right here. That video came out and it clears Trump of any kind of wrongdoing. There was also a guy, I forget his name, but I placed him on the screen before you. He said he did not want to talk to a female reporter unless they were a man there with her. You know, it said, it said it's the Billy Graham rule. You know, people in the comments joking and laughing, all this and that. But no, nah, he's dead serious. I don't want to risk anybody thinking that I'm doing anything inappropriate. So I'm going to have you be with a man. So it ain't you by yourself. And you try to say I did this and this and this, because let's be clear. There are real examples of sexual harassment, of sexual abuse or whatever the case may be. Those things actually do happen, but they get sold up by false allegations from people trying to make money trying to be vindictive, trying to settle the score, having to change your heart later on. You know, you might have been the biggest Trump supporter in 2015 and 16, but something happened in your family and people are convincing you otherwise. Now, all of a sudden, you want to be a Trump hater. So you put this false allegation out there and it needs to stop. The same thing went on with Christine Blasey Ford 
and Brett Kavanaugh. And then you had Congress, people in government talking about, oh, he shouldn't be confirmed because he's a sexual abuser, a sexual harasser with no kind of evidence, none whatsoever. Now, fortunately for Brett Kavanaugh, he had evidence. He had calendars that were basically like a diary that says, OK, I'm here this day. I'm there that day. He had people that supported him. I think there were like 50 or so women that got on stage on camera and defended him. They wrote letters. They did all of that. Christine Blasey Ford, on the other hand, nobody was able to corroborate her statement. Nobody, not even her friends, as she said, were there with her at this particular party where the so-called sexual harassment or rape or whatever happened. None of her friends backed her story up. It was a total lie. But yet the Congress, a lot of people out there in the world believed it and still believe it right now, although there has been no evidence to support the claim after Brett Kavanaugh got confirmed. All of a sudden, she just dropped the whole case Run off with a bag of money first, but drop the whole case like it never happened. This tool to say that somebody did something and there's no evidence of it happening. A, a woman saying that a man harassed her or raped her or whatever gets abused way too much. And like I said, you do have these things actually happen in real life. But when you have those that are pretending that it happened, that are trying to weaponize a false event to attack somebody that makes actual incidents of sexual harassment and rape become much less believed right away when they probably should be at least investigated is already going to be a cloud of doubt right there because you don't know if this person is being honest and truthful and wants you to really discover some information or if they're trying to be vindictive and hurt somebody with a false allegation so that's pretty much all i got what say you do you think that alva johnson should get locked up because it was a lawsuit there i'm not sure if it was any kind of criminal allegations it was a lawsuit but should you be put into jail should it be some kind of civil penalty against you if you're approved of lying about sexual harassment sexual abuse or rape or anything like that because like i said these things do happen and they should be taken seriously when they actually happen but what about when they don't happen what about when there's a lie what about when you attempt to ruin a person and the reputation based on a lie what happens then should there be no kind of investigation into you, no kind of penalty against you? I think there should be. Or do you think that Alva Johnson was telling the truth? Now, if you think that way, please explain to me why. You saw the video with your own two eyes. It's right there. That's her. Her team is not denying that that's her. They're saying that there's more information. But her allegation about the shoulder grab and the kiss is right there. Do you see a forcible kiss on the mouth. You see an air kiss. It's kind of like when Trump uh, air kissed Mike Pence right around the time when they won an election or whatever. You know, it was not a kiss. It was not any kind of sexual harassment. But I could be wrong about that. Maybe my eyes deceive me. If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. And whatever other comments you have, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace.